But if I use the flat part of my paintbrush, flat, flat, I'm smoothing it, right? Which means I'm holding it, what? I can't hold it like a pencil. I have to hold it like a magic wand so I can be nice and flat. Does that make sense? So if I hold like a pen, you're gonna hold it like a pencil. You're gonna forget because you've been doing it so long, but you'll notice it will scratch the paint right off. It's too sharp. Does that make sense? So then I, I constantly will remind you, wait, magic wand, ding, ding. I'm holding it like a magic wand and then I could be smoother and flatter. Does that make sense? Okay. So I like how you nod, not Natalia. It gives me feedback. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna paint his face. So I'm just going to stab the white paint with my paintbrush really hard, like I'm mad because I want to get a lot. So I just go stab, and I go what? What? I'm not scared. Don't be scared. The t the little square one, right? Square paintbrush stab, <gasps> like that. But this is how you outline with a paintbrush, right? I'm gonna outline right by his hat like that. And what I, I, I'm gonna go like this and my paintbrush goes boop, right? But I'm gonna stare at this one hair that's gonna touch the pencil. And the paintbrush is gonna go like this, but I only care about that one hair, okay? Now, I, now mine looks like yours. But I'm gonna hold it closer because this is white paint on a white canvas. So it's gonna be very hard to see. I apologize. And then my beauty light is too reflective. Right? So I'm gonna go like this. Let's see if I can get a good angle. And I go smash, and I haven't touched the pencil yet. Then I sneak up to it, and I use just that one hair. And I do not scribble. And paint, we don't scribble, right? We don't, we push our paint like a bulldozer. It's thick, like paint. So I just go push. So I'm gonna get my paint, and I push. I'm not scribbling. That's for crayons and colored pencils, right? So I'll show you, I'll show you in this camera. So I go, I go smash, smoosh, and one hair. Ooh, did you do it? Did you try it? Now you try it. See if it's true. So flat papers, and, and did I use the tip? No, not a pencil. I flatten it, I use the flat, smooth side of the bristles. Ooh, I got it a little on the pencil, is that bad? No, we're gonna put the black hat on there. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Okay, now we're gonna do her her uh, forehead. Oh, see, we're outlining, right? Now I'm gonna go smash. And I go, whoop, and I let one hair touch the pencil and it's like a backward C. And then when I go around her beak, now I'm gonna, oh, I, waste, I got rid of all that paint on that side. But look, on the other side there's paint. And then a letter C around her beak. I'm just outlining. And then across the bottom over her. There. And then across the bottom. So I went, I went on her forehead. Then the letter C. And then flat on the bottom. They're like outlining. Did I scribble? No. This is a bulldozer. I push paint. You know how a bulldozer works? How a bulldozer pushes the, the sand like this, and on either side there's a pile of sand, right? Uh. Well, that's what we're doing. We push paint. You don't scribble paint. That's for crayons where one line of paint comes out at a time, or a, crayon, or a pen, or a color pencil, and so you get used to doing this. Uh-uh. You. This is thick. You just push it like that. Okay, now look at that eye and the, and the eyebrow. We're actually gonna paint over it because I did it in Sharpie, so that means it can't really disappear. Can I paint? So I'm gonna get more white, and I'm just gonna go letter C, and I put go next to that one, and then letter C, go next to that one, then letter C, and the C's keep getting closer, and they're overlapping like I'm vacuuming, or mo and I went right over the eyebrow. Look, you can still see the eyebrow. Told you. Now I can need more paint. I ran out. More paint. I just stab my paint. And then I go letter C. I'm getting closer and closer to my beak. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Oh, it's getting small. Oh, here I am. I'm going to cover up the eye. Ah! 
Oh, I can still see it, so I'm not scared. But mine's a little bit lumpy, but we're gonna go, we can smooth it. How do you smooth paint? Just go over it softer. Super soft. Calm down paint. So, Cause the paintbrush is like a, a sponge. She can pick it up and put it somewhere else too. Smoothing, softly, smoothing. See, 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 see. And then I want her whole face to be wet. So I make sure she's shiny. And then her shininess lets me know her whole face is wet. And then I have ridges on mine. Lump, 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 lump. But it's okay. Because acrylopite flattens, it evaporates, and it'll turn completely flat. Like no matter how thick you do it, she'll dry flat. So you're like, oh, look at all those lumps and bumps like a potato chip. Uh, it'll dry flat. Okay, now we're gonna add a shadow. Wait, it's her whole face shiny, but not her beak, right? Not her beak, her face is, and then did who tried it with the tip of your paintbrush? Who tried it? Like scratch, and then look at all that paint comes off. Oh, ooh, let me put it back on. Smooth, smooth. Okay, I have to put it back it's flat and smooth. Okay, fixed it. <laughs> Who noticed that? Did you switch from, from holding like a, paint, a pencil to a magic wand? Magic wand is so much softer and smoother. Okay, but now we're going to shadow it. So look at mine. She has a shadow under her hoodie, right? It's a little bit brown right there and a little bit brown next to her coat. Wait, let me back up. The, the, now that's better. It's that, that my beauty light's a little bright on the white. But I, here's my, my shadow. It's brown. But we're going to make it baby brown. So once we put a little bit of brown on the white and mush it in, it'll look like a little shadow on our hoodie. Because how many color values makes 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. So I give it permission to be slightly darker. Then it gets lighter because it's disappearing inside the white paint and then it disappears all the way, right? So where's my brown? Can you find brown? We all need a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Tiny, tiny. I'm gonna open that. So how tiny do you think you can be? So it's only a little bit. We don't wanna make him have a dirty face, right? So I'm gonna sneak up on it and I'm just gonna go, Let me do, okay, that was a little tiny. I was too literal. That was, okay, one more time. Let me do, I, that was too small. Okay, there. It's on the end, right? I just got a little bit, a little bit on the end, right? I'm gonna put this one closer. There, now it's on there, right? Oh, I missed, right? Okay. Now we're gonna drop it off really close to his hoodie like this. And we're just gonna drop it off like it's a booger and we want it off our paintbrush. We're like, get off. So we just like, we'll, we'll fix it. But we go right there next, uh, right um, on her face, but on, on her face, but on the white, we wipe it off and we go, wee. And I got two sides of my paintbrush there. Now you do it, I just wiped it off. That looks terrible, right? Well, don't rub it in, just drop it off. Just go, ew. Right, I'm like, ew, what happened? Well now, flat paintbrush, try to be flat, magic wand. Did you switch to pencil? You can't help it, too much training, right? Now we're gonna smooth it in, and just, it's gonna mush into the white and turn baby blue. So I start at the top of her forehead, and I go, letter C, letter C, oh. Look at it turn super soft and baby brown because I mushed it into, oh, it's soft, right? It's a very soft, soft shadow brown, like that. Isn't that so a soft, soft brown? It looked like an ugly blob, of, but we didn't blend it yet. And now that we blended it, we're like, oh, and, how, and I'm holding like a magic wand, right? Why? So I could be softer. 
Pencil, holding it like a pencil is for a hard grip because you literally have to scratch the graphite onto the paper or push the wax into the paper. Does that make sense? Well, paint is soft, so you can hold your paintbrush soft. And it's got oh, soft, like that. Well, it, you know what? That just looks like, um, I don't know, it just looks like a letter C. In my paintbrush, I have baby, baby brown, right? Without getting any more brown, let's soften just the edge of the C and see if we can't make it softer, right? So it how many color values for 3D? Three. So we have baby brown. And then what if we can make a soft edge where it turns disappearing? You wanna see me do it? I have no paint on my paintbrush, right? I didn't get anything new. I just wanna to touch the inside of the C and see if I can't make a invisible baby brown just by touching the in as soft as I can the inside inside rim of brown and then she disappears there so it's a dark and then it gets softer and softer mine's mine's not softening this is a stiff paintbrush did you get yours to do it so it's darkest next to the hoodie then the next row is really invisible and we're doing this on top of our wet, white face, right? Her whole face is wet and white, so it's me, and we're disappearing the brown inside the wet paint. And then I still see the edge of mine. Do you see it? I hate it. There's no paint on my finger right now. I'm gonna touch the inside edge and try to tell it to calm down so it disappears. Disappear already. There. Now I have dark, medium, disappeared. I had to kind of, I had to blend it with my finger. There. Now it disappears. So I have darkish, medium-ish, lighter, lighter, finger smear the lightest. But it's at, my finger's like a sponge too, so it took some of the paint off. Did you blur it good? You know, I had to do that because this paintbrush is stiffer than I remember. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it smoothing? Because she keeps scratching the paint. And I just tell her, calm down, calm down, calm down. There. Now it's dark near the edge, but soft and white in her face. There. Well, guess what? We're going to do the exact same thing to her tummy. Ta-da! Right? And, we're, and then we put a little piece of brown and then do the same thing. Right, so, so it's like a shadow near her jacket, right? But this is, a uh, the white in our cup is actually a different color than the white on the canvas. So if you don't paint, look at, I took this one because it has a mistake. I'm gonna paint over that a whole bunch. I didn't give that one to one of you guys, it's, oops. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna paint his whole chest, but how do, I wanna outline it first, because once you outline, you almost never make a mistake and go outside the line. That's a trick of your brain. So I'm going to get more white and stab. Why? I have far to go. And, okay, wait, how many lines are there? Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is her tummy. This is her black jacket. This is her sh her sleeve, right? Her, her wing. Does that make sense? Tummy, jacket. So it looks like three pieces. We're doing this first piece. So we're gonna outline inside, and there's the edge of her front of her tummy. Do you see it? I felt like I didn't explain that good. Now I did. Okay, so white, and I'm gonna go. I land inside her tummy, right? And then I sneak up. Hopefully this has brown in it, so you'll be able to see it. Because a dirty paintbrush will be able to, oh no, it's still white on white, but. I let just the edge of my, oh, I ran out. I think I'll give up and go home. Wait, I am home. No, I just get more paint and then sneak it up and let that, I don't care if there's a blob. Blobs don't hurt nothing. And I push my paint. Now I can go, uh, uh, did you do it? It's not hard, right? Once you understand how to outline with a paint blush, you're like, well, of course it's how you do it. But once someone shows you, then you're like, of course. And then you go under her scarf and turn turn like a backward seven next to her arm. And there's that Sharpie thing that's going to haunt me. I should have painted it over before class. Whatever. And then tummy. 
I keep my white paintbrush inside her tummy at all times and land and then sneak up and let that white outline. What if I cover up the pencil? Won't hurt nothing. Oh, I ran out towards the bottom. You know how I can tell I ran out? It makes a scratchy sound. It should be slippery. And then as soon as you hear scratch, nothing's happening. So we outlined it, right? And do we scribble, scribble? No. Push your paint. Push. Push your paint. We're a bulldozer. Push. And then this nice, thick, smooth, straight uh, string of paint comes out the sides. Push. And then her tummy is empty. Can we fill in her tummy? So I just get more white paint. And oh, why'd I get so much? Because I'm going to be like a bulldozer and push and pull and push and pull like peanut butter. And I just use, oh, magic wand. See? I held like a pencil. Magic wand. Smoosh. Smoosh. And they all overlap like I'm vacuuming or mowing the lawn or sweeping where there's no missed spots. I can be softer. That's why. My pencil, holding like a pencil is very sharp. Smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. And then how do I tell if her tummy is all, all painted and white is shiny? Can you see what mine is shiny? No. How about like that? Oh, there. The shadow from the cell, from the cell phone makes a little, you can see. But it's all shiny. Her whole tummy is shiny. So I know I painted it. Because it, it, white on white is very hard, but when she dries, she is a different shade of white, if that makes sense. This is the purest white, and this has a little bit of eggshell in it, you know, a little bit of softness to it. So you can tell if you miss the spot. Let me try. I have to stand up tall. It's hurting my back. Good job. Okay, I bet you can predict what's going to happen. We're gonna put a shadow of brown, right? So do I need a lot of brown? Maybe, this was little, this was a small piece, this is a longer piece. I can't know for sure, but maybe just a tiny bit harder poke, right? There's no way to know. We're guesstimating, we're just gonna guess and be like, okay, not a speck, but maybe a, just a sum. Just, I went poke like that and I got some. Oh, some? What if I need more? I could get more. It's right there. It's right in my cup, right? So where does this go? I'm I'm on the white. On the white, because it's gonna become baby. But I just drop it off like it's L. L. And I just go, okay, from the scarf to all the way to the ground. Wee. Look how it runs out. Do I have oh I have some on the other side. Let me wipe it off. Question? Julie, I missed that. Say it again. What color do I use again? We're using brown to make the shadow on her tummy. It's white tummy with a little bit of brown shadow. Okay, that looks bad. Look how much better her face looks than her. What? So I just gotta smush that in. Oh! Pencil, switch to pit magic wand softly, right? Pencil's too sharp. And I'm just gonna smoosh it and it becomes baby brown. Baby brown, oh. I'm just doing one stripe, the same stripe over and over and look at it, it mushes into the white and becomes baby brown. Do I do it hard? No, gentle, gentle, gentle. We're just kind of softly, it's almost like you're floating on top of the paint. Woo, like that soft. Well, that looks like a stripe. This does not look 3D. How many color values do you need for 3D? Three, dark, medium, and disappearing. Well, in my paint, let's just, not, not the part touching her jacket, but the inside part, let's just touch it and try to make a dis one more stripe that's disappearing. So I'm, I'm gonna try to erase that inside edge by touching it. 
I'm not touching the part by her jacket. I like it. It's dark enough. Oh, I'm making a softer. I pick it up and drop it off. Oh, but I'm not going near her jacket anymore. Look, it got lighter. It got lighter. Dark, medium. I just made medium. But remember when we did it on her face? We couldn't make it disappear with the paintbrush. It wasn't working. So we figured out our, or I did, I figured out my um, finger could make a softer inside edge. So I'm just going to, with my finger, because it will force them to blend a little bit. I'm going to tell this inside edge to turn softer. She disappears. There. Now I have darkest by her jacket, medium, and then a disappearing misty edge. Oh. And then I can lick off my finger. No, you grossos. Trying to eat the paint. No, now I just get it. I just wipe it on the napkin. And then look for 3D. Is it darkest next to her jacket? It turns medium-ish. Huh? And then lightest. How many versions of brown did we get? And we gave it permission to run out of brown. We didn't get more brown. We made a lighter version as we went farther and farther away. And the white kind of ate the brown. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we did her face and her tummy. Right? Now we get to do the background. But this uh, paintbrush is covered in white paint. So we just need one paper towel. And we're just going to give it a, a hard pinch and just like pinch, squeeze out the paint. We don't need water. You just squeeze it out. Pinch. Like that. Pinch. And then look at most of the paint is off. That's all we got to do. And then we have to get out all the colors for our background. I think I gave us way too much paint, but I have a lot of fun making new colors. So look at the original, right? So this color is blue, purple, and gray. And then those little white strings, we're going to add those. So blue, purple, gray. Where is that? Blue. Oh, no, that's purple. That's blue. Oh, there it is. La la. Yep. Right. And we get to start, which is also super fun. So we get to, oh, oh, there's blue on top of mine. The other colors must be on the bottom. So little flat paintbrush, right? She's really good for stirring. And see what happens to it. See, oh, whip, 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 whip. Watch it change colors. Ooh, it's a softer bluish purple. Neato. That's pretty, right? So, but that's obviously not the color. So what am I going to add to that? I'm going to put purple strings and gray strings. That's what the purple paint's for. So let me tell you all the colors we need for purple. I mean, for sky is, let me see if I can hold them all. The blue one, I'll, I'll be a waitress. So the one we just mixed, blue, purple, <gasps> gray, and white. I don't wanna put the white one on there, I'm scared. So I'm being funny. Oh, see, I dropped the purple. The lid was on. Now let's see if it's true. Okay? So it's the bluish gray color. Mm -hmm. Then I put purple in it. Then I put strings of white in it. Okay. Then look, a gray area farther away. Then a blue area. But let me tell you the magic is when two colors touch, like this purpley color touches a blue color, you, you let them make a new color where they touch, right? You let them mix where they're touching, and then where gray and blue mix, we let them overlap. How come? So it doesn't look like a flag, right? We let, ooh, a new color, two colors are touching, so we put the gray on the blue and the blue on the gray, make a new color, right? Okay, so we got to stir a new color, 
And I'll always tell you what color we need, so no worries. So the color we just stirred, bluish, grayish, purple, right? But we need to outline her head. Ooh, I'm scared. Don't be scared. And this is a little paintbrush. She can't hold on to much paint, so you're going to have to stop, outline, get more paint, outline, get more paint. But let's do the back of her head. Because we always go, we don't go against gravity up. We actually always go with gravity down so your hand doesn't shake. Does that make sense? Your hand's above it and you push down with gravity is a smoother line. So I just stab that color. Oh, I'm just going to go above her head. Let me go closer. Sorry. I always forget. <laughs> I go above her head, smash. And I can sneak down and let one hair touch the pencil and push. Am I scribbling? No? Nice and so Oh, I ran out and it got dry. What should I do? Give up? Nope. I just stab my paint. But I'm not going to land on it. I'm going to land in the sky, smash, and sneak up again. So it will stay smooth. Because a landing blob is gross. Ta-da! See, that's where I landed again and scooched up. Because look how thick the landing blob is. That's disgusting. But what about doing the front of her face? <gasps> so I get more of that color. But now it's a, it's, I, it's like a rainbow. I'm going to finish the rainbow and I go above her face. Smash. Push. Stop on the beak. Whee! And did I wiggle? No, that's for crayons and pens and color pencils. I push my paint like a bulldozer. Woo! Which is why we practiced with the white before we did the dark color. So our brains understood that we push paint, right? Oh, around the beak. So it's like a half a rainbow and then like a U underneath, like whoop, right? So I go, okay, let me get more paint. Stop! And I'm above her beak. Smash so I could sneak down and let one hair, one, one, oh, 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 okay, there. One hair, and then under her beak, right here. <laughs> nice. I push my paint. I fold over my paintbrush and push. Oh, arm, her arm, right? I get more paint, smash. And I just go, oh, oh, now we get to do Sharpie. Because I worry that you won't be able to see that, so I did it in Sharpie. Oh, look, it only goes about four inches and it runs out of paint. That's okay, I can get more. Because it has to be nice and thick or it's not as, you'll start scribbling. If it's not enough paint, you'll go, <laughs> trying to get more paint out of your paintbrush, and then you'll have a furry line. You just get more paint. And then, <laughs> wait, whoop, I missed the Sharpie. Try again. Land. Okay, go. Oh, slow down. I'm near her tummy. Uh, uh. You know why? I had. I remember what that 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 sharpie that got in her tummy because I went too fast. So I went slow when I got to her tummy. Oh, look! I didn't touch the pencil right there. Do over. I fixed it. Once I set it down, I could see that I had I, I messed up. Okay, ooh, okay, tummy time. What? It, and the tummy is wet. So what if it turns baby blue a little bit? It's gonna be gorgeous. Don't even care, right? It's so, like I just get more blue, and I'm gonna go. Okay, land and push. Oh, I did touch the white. <gasps> it's pretty. Yay. Do you know why we're outlining? Because your brain has outlined before. If you outline something, you're less likely to, your brain will stop. It's a trick. Your brain is wired to do this. We're just using brain tricks. We're gonna paint over this outline. We're not gonna protect it, but our brain will stop us from jumping inside her hat. It's a weird human thing. Okay, what about the other side? Around the scarfy? Wee -hee -hee -hee. How confident are you now? So easy. 
Why? Because we're just pushing and outlining and now your brain's like, I got it, lady. It totally makes sense. And then under the scar, and or I ran out of paint. Poke. Who's confident in how much paint you get? Right? You just poke and push. So easy. And then around her, her little wingy, and then around her tushy to the snow. There she is. I did it. I beat you. You're jealous. How come I beat you? Because I've done this before. My brain is like, ah, easy. So when we started outlining, you were like, oh, I'm going to ruin it. And then once you start doing it, you're like, my brain has been outlining letters since I was in five years old. Your brain knows how to do this. Right? Your brain's like, yeah. And then the whole paintbrush isn't doing the outline, huh? Just one little hair. Just the hair on the outside. Woo! Like that. Who's being too perfect? Don't be too perfect. We're ruining this outline when we paint the whole sky. Don't be perfect. Oh, okay. So now, look at this bit. This is the paintbrush that does the background, right? It's humongous. So, I want to, I, I just, I don't know if this is a bit, maybe, I don't know. Let's just, let's just see and see if we can't pull, uh, see if it's true that you can get the big paintbrush and see right here between her sleeve, her little fin and the scarf. See if you can't pull on that. Look how you can paint something and never actually leave the outline. Why? I'm using the biggest paintbrush, right? Why? Because your brain knows how to do that. Hey, show me your paintbrush that you're using. Okay, same as me. I was worried. Never mind. Because I have these other kind and I was worried I gave you these giant flat ones. Never mind. But how did we do that and you just landed on the stripe and pulled it down? How come you didn't get any on the sleeve? And even if you got a little bit on the sleeve like I did, the sleeve is black. Her wing is black. Black can cover up anything. So, like, how? so we're going to paint now and we're not afraid of touching these lines. But because of how our brain works, she'll protect the, 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 the outline will actually protect it. Trip, right? Because let me, you know, and we always land, land, and pull. And perfectly, you know when you make a letter I and how you can put the dot exactly above the line? How come? Much training. So your brain knows how to land perfectly where you tell it, right? The hard part, this is where the hard part is, is stopping. You're going way <laughs> like this. You'll go too fast and your brain lands perfect, but can't stop in time. So when you're about to stop, yellow light, slow down so you can control the stop. You can't go start, stop, start, stop. You can land perfect, but you can't slam on the brake. She'll put the paint right in her face. Does that make sense? Okay. So you see this pencil line right here? This one that goes from her scarf whee, to her, her uh, wing, right? We're going to paint it purpley blue. So get our purpley blue color. And you're like, oh no, the paintbrush is too big. But how do you outline with a paintbrush? Smash. The paintbrush opens. And what hair do you look at? Just that one hair, no matter how big the paintbrush is. I'll prove it. Poke. Ooh, I got a poke. Right now, watch. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a a big rainbow. Right, but I can land. How come I can land? Cause I can make a letter I, smash, and then I. Oh, where's my one hair touching? The outline I already did, and it matches. See, big paintbrush, but it works the same. And you're like, well, I'm afraid of hurting her head. 
we already protected her head with this. And then I can get more. Ooh, good thing her hat's going to be Blake. There. <laughs> oh, well. But I go, and I smash my paintbrush, but I'm looking at what hair? The one, I'm trying to get my hand out of the way so you can see. But the one hair is touching the outline that I already did. And then, whoa, here comes the, oh, I did it. How come? Because you're a genius. Hey, Allison. Allison, do you have your plastic um, cover, um, the tablecloth in your kit? Can you cover up your, your pillow and everything so you don't get any paint on anything? Because we start going like this really fast and I'm worried your paint will splash on your bed and your mom will be mad. Can you cover it with plastic? Okay. Okay, now I just saw you and I was like, oh, whoa, okay. Now, I'm, can I go bigger another stripe and go wider? I can. Stop! Huh. All right, I got more. And then I go another row wider. Woo! Past the beak. Oh, I tucked it under her beak. Oh, did I get a little bit on her beak? No, because I outlined it. How come you didn't get nothing on the beak? Because you know how to handwrite. Can we go bigger? I don't, I can't go any bigger right here. I have to start up here because that's where the pencil is. So whatever. So I get more. So I'm just trying to do this inside circle. So wah! Oh, it's too big. I'm gonna make it smaller. And tuck it but underneath her beak. Woo! Oh, no paint. Ooh, a drip. Let me get it with my finger. There. Calm down, paint. Who got theirs? Look at where this ends, though. Right? Well, let's decorate it, because is that 3D? Is that a three, is that 3D? It's only one color. That is the most boring thing I ever saw. Let's add something to it, right? So I'm gonna get a paper towel. I just wanna get this purpley blue out, right? It's just, I think it's holding on to more paint than you'd think. But I just get a paper towel and I stick my paintbrush in it and I fold it over and I squeeze it really firm and I get all the paint out and oh, it's drier and look it. Oh, that's a lot of paint that was hiding in there. It's still blue on my paintbrush, but it's not a giant goober of wet paint. Because we're going to decorate this. Because now we're going to make it 3D. So how many color values for 3D? Right? That purpley blue is medium. Blue, purple by herself is dark. And then I could put white to make it brighter. So it's purple, darkest, purpley, blue, medium, and white. And then we're going to go like this, as soft as we can, and make strings. Super soft. What happens if I go like this and scribble two colors together? You just make a brand new color. But what do I really want? Look at my stripes. You are so jealous of me right now. Because I have stripes and you don't. So it's very, I don't crush it together. I do, oops, I touched my painting. Okay, so I go very, I just want to turn the dots into strings. And I'm only allowed to touch it one time. You guys ready? So find purple, purple by herself. Oh, I'm so sad for you. You don't have purple? Does anyone else have purple? You could use red and white. No, no, don't use red. 
You don't have purple? She looks black. You find it? Okay, now we're gonna get our purple. Are you sure you don't have purple? No. You don't? Okay, then you use you use a gray, okay? Gray and white. Okay? So now I'm gonna use purple and I just go stab. I don't know how that happens because I make a giant um you know um can uh um, supply line into the bags. How would I miss one? Okay, I got blobs, blob of purple on there. I'm just gonna make purple polka dots. Hello. I'm gonna get more. Hello. 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 Ooh, I'm gonna get close to her face. Maybe under her chin. And I put some pur purple boogies on there. Purple boogies. Can you see them? They look darker. There they are. Ooh. And then I gotta clean my paintbrush off. Give it a squeeze. I usually, I can also do this with your finger, but I just don't trust you guys. I think you're gonna play with the paint. Clean my paintbrush. Huh, would you start playing with the paint? Probably. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the white. It's just like sticking your finger in it, but la la la. So I stab the white poke. <gasps> and now I'm going to put, these you'll be able to see really good because my background is dark. And I just go, poke it, 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 poke it. So who didn't have purple? Did you use gray and white? Because they make very beautiful stripes of each other too. So gray is medium and white is the brightest, right? And you don't mush it into the blue. We float it on top. And then we clean our paintbrush. That is too much white on there. That will literally just make white. So I, okay, bye white. There. Now with a clean paintbrush. And look how it has nice scratchy bristles on there, right? I'm almost like a broom. I'm going to turn these dots into stripes like this, right? So, um, but how soft am I going to be? So soft. So soft. And we're going to start on the very far outside. Watch me, everybody watch, even though you're busy. I'm just going to start on the outline, outside and I go, and I only touch it one time. And then I pause to see how it looks before I do the row underneath that. Okay, so those are my words. Now watch with your eyes. So I'm gonna go on the very farthest on the outside of the sky and I'm just gonna drag those dots and turn them into stripes. Soft. Should I go, but should I scribble? I'm dragging as soft as I can and stop. Oh, I kind of missed at the end. One more time. Woo, and then stop. Don't touch it twice. <gasps> look at, they look like stripes. And look at there's purple in it, and there's white in it, and there's blue in it. What happens if I touch it more? It's just blue. It's just going to turn blue. Should we go they go uh, a rainbow inside of that? They're going to overlap like um, we're mowing or, so, or sweeping. And I'm going to, how soft? So, I am barely hanging on to my paintbrush. So soft. Pull, oh, oh, I hit a blue, I hit a purple, I hit a white, and I'm not stopping. Oh, woo! That looks so bright! They're a little bit waggedy, but it's a snowstorm. Right? Can I do another one even closer? But I'm worried about his head. So I just go, what, what hair am I looking at? The, the closest one? Woo! And then I can go closer to her head. Whoa! I almost touched her beak. I had to go very, very slow by her beak. Who wants more white in theirs? Who thinks it should be brighter? Whose white got eaten and it just turned purple? Remember, can you go dash, dash, dash? You cannot go dash, dash, dash. It will just make one color. You can only touch it one time, right? So let's get more white and try it again. 
Ding, 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 ding. The purple's fine. And clean the paintbrush off. Whoa. Ooh, look at the smush I made on. That's pretty. Sorry, I get excited about color. Should we do it again and see if we can't get white strings to live? Can you pick up your paintbrush at any time? No, you cannot. You have to do one gentle rainbow. Watch me. Wee. And can I touch it one more time? No, I cannot. I like the stripes. If I touch it one more time, it's just blue. The stripes will die. So then I can go the one underneath that. And I'm shooting for strings for my rainbow. Strings. Oh, near my beak. And that's it. And I can't touch it twice. You cannot touch it. You cannot scribble it. What will happen if you scribble? It's just blue. So I just went, wee, wee, and stop. If I just go back and try to touch it up, it just turns blue. Soft. Who feels that came out good? Do you have snow flurries? Do you have little strings? Snow flurries. Who rubbed it in? If you rubbed it in, try it one more time. Who's going like this? That's for pencils and crowns and color markers. This paint is so thick. All you do is change her color and her texture. Okay, now we just get a, a, a purple again. Just get purple and stab the purple on my dirty paintbrush and let's go outside of that. Who didn't have purple? Use gray. Cause look, here's the gray rim. Okay, it looks pretty. I won't lie to you. Okay, so oh, let me get purple stab. Okay. Oh, look at mine has stripes in it already because I had blue in my paintbrush. Oh, I love it. Wee to the fin. Wee. Wee. Ho, ho, ho. Purple. And I'm just rainbowing it, right? Do I scribble? No. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Who's got stripes already? I know. Good job. Okay, now I want to tell you another trick. Who wants to hear a trick? Okay, so this is another thing about your brain. Remember how I said your brain can land perfectly, right? Well, we're going to use that because I don't want to get any paint on her tummy. So I'm going to land my paintbrush on her tummy and push up. I am never, everybody watch, even though you're busy, stop what you're doing and look what I'm doing. Please stop. Okay. So I land on her tummy and push up. Do not come down and think you can stop. If, oh, every time it'll get in her tummy. So you can only land and push up. So let's get our purple and land on her, on the purple. We already put the blue line, but we can land on the blue line. Land on the blue line and push up. Land on the blue line and push up. See how you don't hurt nothing? Land and push up, right? Land on the blue line and push up. If you don't have purple, you're using gray. Because look, at here's the gray one. The gray one is just as pretty. It's gray and white. Because that purpley blue is in your paintbrush. Okay. Oh, then what about her fin? Couldn't I land and pull down now? Hey, look at my, that paint was wet. Oh, well, I'm going to get my purple and land and pull down. Now they meet. Yay. Which means I can also do back here. Look. Finish that circle. And can I land on the blue outline? Yes. 
you can't hurt nothing because you already outlined it. So you land on the blue line and push. Well, that's pretty, but that's very 3D, right? Oh, look at me. C connect it. So this is all part of one circle. Go outside around this in. So the tummy part connects to here. So get that purple. Look at get that purple, and the purple goes from the tummy in front of the fin, and then fill all the rest in. Cause this is part of the same circle. Yep, yep, yep. Well, that looks boring and boring purple. Dum 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 dum. Well, how many color values can we put in it? Right? Ooh, what if we put gray and white? And if you're doing a gray one, put blue and white. Blue and white is pretty. So now I'm going to get gray. Open my gray. Hello. I just poke my gray. Poke. I'm going to put, I, am I going to put any around her face? This one? We already did it. I'm never touching this part again. I'm finished. I'm only playing with the purple part. All right. Don't be playing up in the purpley blue part. We're finished. Okay, now I get the gray and I go pokey pokey pokey. Pokey 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 pokey. Oh, I like the way my my paintbrush looks. That's pretty. All we did was get that a wet were we really painting and decorating it? Oh, Julie, 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 look, go like this and your, your um, gray should go in front of the fin and connect with that circle up there. So it's a nice big round belly front, like a big letter B. Yeah, so it's big and round gray. Big and round, like a letter B. Yes, exactly. Okay, well, that is just gray. Boring. So now I'm gonna get white. Who thought the white was the prettiest anyway? I know. So then I go, oh, I got some in the purpley blue. Whatever. Question? I'm only doing the purple part, just the purple part. And I go in front of the fin. Whee! What if we have to do it twice because we, we rub it too much? That's part of learning. There's no way you could know something until after you've done it because this is earth. You literally have to do stuff and go, what? What? Okay, now... Everybody ready? Oh, I still see poke people putting pokes. Decorating the purple so she's not boring. <gasps> Wait, how about some purpley blue in there too? With my dirty paintbrush, where's purpley blue? <gasps> there she is. Purpley blue? I'm going to put some of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all. I just wanted some. Just some. I just thought the purpley blue would be soft. And nice just like 10 of them I don't know just just some cuz pretty I'm watching yours and I was looking at yours and I thought you know it'd be good in there so I decided looking at yours okay now there is too much paint cuz remember now we're gonna do the texture thing we already put our paint but now we're gonna turn them into strings well that is too much paint <laughs> so I get my paper down I'm just gonna squeeze out the extra paint get out of there Look at this filthy pink paper towel. Oh, I killed mine. I pulled his head off. <laughs> I'll put it back together. Thank you. Let me put it back together. There. Oh. And now it's still that color, but it's like more dry, right? Because now we're just going to scratch at those colors. And just, and how soft do we have to be? Who learned how soft you have to be last time? Remember how doing it hard just smashed them together? So now we're doing really soft. 
off. So let's start on the very farthest outside circle, right? So we're gonna, wait, everybody pause. We're gonna start on her tummy. How come? Because if I start here, I have to stop on her tummy. If I start here, I don't have to worry about her tummy. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna touch her tummy and go, and the farthest outside rim, we oh, I hit a color, I hit another color, I'm dragging them, I'm scratching them, we all the way back behind the scarf. I went, wow, oh, okay, I missed some right there. I get it, I get it, I scratched it, okay. See, look at, I got, ooh, 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 you can see all the different colors in mine. You're so jealous of me. Okay, now I'm gonna go one row in. They're gonna touch though, right? They're gonna, they're overlapping, right? So I go another row, land on her tummy, ooh, but I have to jump over her fin if I hit the fin. I didn't hit the fin. Wait, oh, stop on her scarf. How come landing on her on her tummy makes sense? It does, right? Land and push away from her tummy. Land and push up. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to jump over her fin now. Ooh. Okay, so I land on her tummy, land. I touch the blue line on the tummy and push up. Jump the fin. Keep going. Whee. Look at, I ran out of room. Look at how I finished back here, but I still have some left in the front. Can you guys figure out how to do that? Just come to a very, very soft flick so it blends in. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know, right? So I'm gonna touch her underneath her fin, whee, and then jump over her fin and then let go. And then let, there, that's all. Okay, because I didn't have to go all the way rainbow because I didn't, there was no more left. Who likes their colors? How many color versions did you get? Do you have dark, medium, light, 3D? This is a nighttime painting. It's how, she's catching a magic star. Okay, so I feel like I need to touch this fin right there. I, I think I missed. Touch and push up, touch and push up. Oh, I got some on her fin. Is that bad? No, because her, her fin is going to be black. So I don't care. Oh, you know what's in your paintbrush right now? Look at this part underneath her scarf. Everybody pause and look up because I can only show this. One. Look at, there's her scarf and there's her wing. And we painted it blue. Don't we have the perfect color in our paintbrush right now just to give it some stripage? Just go stripe, stripe, stripe. She matches. What? Because I planned that. It's already in your paintbrush. Your paintbrush is dirty from making the stripes. And then we just go underneath her scarf. Ta -da! <gasps> Did I get in her beak? I was scared. I didn't. Because I outlined it. That was close. Okay, who wants to go again? Gray? Remember, don't scrub. How come we don't scrub? Don't scribble, scribble. It just becomes blue. How do you make stripes? Put polka dots of white and turn the dots into strings. And then grab a dot and string. And then, But don't rub it in because it just becomes one color. Does that make sense? We turn our dots into strings. Okay, now can we do gray? So stab our gray. And now I go from her tummy Oh, I got some on the snow. Nobody cares about the snow. When I'm putting the paint, I can scribble. Does that make sense? When I'm putting the paint, but when I'm decorating, I'm going, wee, wee, so soft. Now I have a gray. Did you go up to the pencil? Gray. And then another stripe under her under her tail. 
don't forget about the one by her tail. It's a little bit of gray. I don't think I put the circle right there. But it goes gray, 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 all the way up to the next pencil and under her tail. Well, that is just gray. Boar, snore, snore, boar. We should decorate that. Who wants to decorate? Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. We're going to decorate that with dark blue and white. Dark. So dark blue is my darkest. Medium is gray. And white is going to be my snow flurries. So pretty. So pretty. But look at how our two colors are touching. Am I allowed to let them touch? They could touch. Look, they make a new color where they touch. So I can go in. Oh, two color. The gray and the purple are touching. Let me tell them they can make a new color. Two colors are touching. Wait, wait. You can blend. You can make a new color gray, purple. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay. It looked a little perfect. That's all I'm saying. A little perfect. Henry, are you sleeping? <laughs> That's the cutest thing I ever saw in my whole life. He's trying to follow along by watching. Henry, I'm talking about you because you're so cute. You were sleeping watching us, huh? You went... <laughs> you know why? Because it's 6.30 and you're sleepy. And you probably already ate dinner. Okay, now I'm going to get some blue. Do you have gray? Now I get dark blue. Ooh, dark, 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 dark blue. Nighttime, nighttime blue. And I just get a pook. Am I decorating anything but gray? No, just the gray circle. And do I have to put them in a perfectly straight line? No, I could go like this. Up and hop and hop and hop. Up and hop and hop and hop. There. Not a straight line, silly Billy. Just some. Some, 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 some. Well, I, there's too much blue in my paintbrush, so when I go stripey, stripey, it'll just turn it blue. So I gotta squeeze it out. Okay, this one is filthy. I need a new one. Where's the new one? Hello. And then I just squeeze it out. Pick. Oh, I keep breaking my. I pull his head off. I put it back on. <laughs> I must be doing it really hard. Look at Achoo! <laughs> You're gross. Now it's it's drier, right? There's no paint hiding inside there. Now we can get white, and so we can have white snow flurries. White, <gasps> yay! White, white, white. Oh, it already turned gray. Gray is very powerful. I'm gonna get more white. God. Oh, I keep running out. The gray is eating up my white very fast. Faster than blue. There, now I have perfect little white dots. Okay. And then you have to lick off your paintbrush. No. Things are crazy. Just give it a squeeze. Okay. Ew. Look how much paint was hiding in there. It's a lot. That's why we clean it. Okay, so now we're decorating. How soft? How so, so soft? I can barely feel it. I can't even feel it, how soft I am doing. And I just would like to make some blue and white stripes. Gray is already there, right? That's our medium color. So I got some dark, medium, white. Let's see if I can make some snow flurries. I'm gonna pull. 
Ooh, oh, it fell, oh, it fell off the page right there. I don't care. Okay, now I jump back on the page. Way. Then another row next to that. Way and pull. Just turn them into stripes. Should I touch it twice? No, I should not. It'll just make baby blue. Pull. Ooh, that one's a pretty one for me. I'm enjoying. Oh, that looks cool. That one was fun. Wait, look at the dashes. I put them in a row. This is why I don't put them in a row. Cause look at, it goes dash, dash, dash. I'm gonna touch that one more time and try to make the dashes calm down. Rainbow. Yes, it did calm down the dashes. See, it turned baby blue touching it twice, but whatever. Look at what we made. Do you have just a little bit on your paintbrush after you did that? You know what I don't like? Here's the purple world and here's gray world. They're making a, they're like, they don't even, they don't even want to touch and make a new color. So right now we have a little bit of that baby blue in there. Right on the border where purple and gray and just tell them to be friends. Purple and gray, calm down, be friends. And they will mush together right where they're touching like this so they so they over so they make a new color where they touch you don't have to, you just tell hey you need to mush together you two colors who are touching right there were purple purple and, uh, or, that's not purple world, that's supposed to be gray, oh, no, I'm making gray world. Purple world and gray world. Right there, I went, and mushed them together where they touch. So I made a new color. Okay, what come? what goes on the outside? Right? So it's gonna be dark blue and gray. No white flurries. No, no, you don't get no white, you don't get no white, you don't get, but look how they look like triangles because they're the corners of a circle. But you still have to go roundy, roundy, roundy. So it looks, you can't go up and down the side just because it looks like a square. These are triangles of a circle. So you go past the, or la 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 la, la 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 la, la. okay. So just, dark. and you can have a dirty paintbrush because Dark blue is so dark, she will cover everything up. Poke. So let me show you, watch. Off the page, off the page, off the page, off the page, off the page. And then, oh, what if I get some of this on the snow? Won't hurt nothing. We're gonna paint over the snow. And then, and then this corner. Woo, 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 woo. It's like a half a rainbow, half a rainbow, half a rainbow, half a rainbow. Which means this would be the other half of the rainbow. Up, down, curvy, curve. Oh, that's not enough paint. It's all dry. So I'll fill up the whole corners with the blue. No matter, mine is smaller than yours right? Or it's bigger than yours. Whatever. The rest of it, but look how it's a big letter B on this side. In front of her is a B. So even though you want to go down the side, up and down, you can't. It goes letter B off the page, letter B. Letter B off the page, letter B. It's the big round B, letter B, lowercase and big B. And I'm pausing because some people have gigantic areas of blue they have to fill in because they made smaller stripes. That's fair, right? We'll just we'll just have a nice calm pause and let them catch up. And then don't forget this corner. Look at by her tail. Jealous, jealous. 
jealous. And then the front in front of her is let her be, let her be, even if it's big or small. But it goes up, down, up, down. We're finishing, you can't go up and down like, like pieces of, of, you have to go off the page, like we're finishing a circle and it just falls off the page and catches up here. And just get a glob of blue paint and push the paint and pull the paint and push the paint. And when it acts dry, get more. Don't be delicate. Push, pull. Yeah, push it. And you can open your paintbrush. What happens when you push hard and open your paintbrush? It's humongous. Push. Let her be, let her be, let her be, let her be. Okay, now I can clean my paintbrush for no paint paintbrush. Oh, I pulled her head off again. Did it get happen to anybody else? It's annoying me. <gasps> help me, help me. She keeps pulling my head off. Okay, I have no paint on my paintbrush, but look, gray world and dark blue are touching and it looks like a flag. It looks all perfect. I hate it. It's terrible. So... With no paint on my paintbrush. Everybody pause. I know you're busy. Stop painting and look up. Watch me. No paint on my paintbrush. I'm going to tell dark blue and gray world to be friends. So I touch them at the same time. And mush them into each other. Just where they're touching. Tell them that. Oh, oh. You need, you need to touch. Oh, I made a grayish blue. With no paint on my paintbrush. I just told them to be friends. And it made a grayish blue right there where they're touching. So it's not like a, like a harsh. And it's a no paint paintbrush is able to do that. You just kind of make grayish blue, grayish blue where they touch. <laughs> With no paint on your paintbrush, you just crush the two wet colors together and they'll make grayish blue. Dry paintbrush. I'm just, and, and then the paintbrush acts like a sponge and she picks up both colors and drops them off and makes a new color. Like that. Well, that's not fabulous. I would like some gray uh, flurries in my blue. So I poke my gray and just go, no, 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 no. Boop, 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 boop. Just because I want them to match. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go close. <gasps> gray, gray pokes on my dark blue. Yeah, the spots are gray, just not white. She'll make baby blue, but gray will make soft blue. And just tell her to calm down. Wait, but we still have to go windshield wiper, right? They have to be rounded. So I go. I just would like to turn these into little snow flurries. So I just go. Off the page, off the page, off the page, off the page. There you go. Off the page, off the page. Just turn them into little stripities, little gray stripes, little gray stripes. Now they're gray stripes, and I'm done. Hello. So now it's not dark blue by herself, because that's just like snore bore, right? Is that 3D? No. So you give them, you give them flurries and it's just like, let her be, let her be. Oh. There, now they're stripey. And with no paint on your paintbrush, you tell wherever two colors are touching, you crush them together and make a new color. Good job. Woohoo!
Should it be dark blue by yourself? No. Should there be a perfect edge of blue touching the gray? No. We clean our paintbrush and with a clean paintbrush, touch where blue and gray are touching. Right there, so they turn into baby blue. Right there, where blue, dark blue touches the gray world, smush them together. If you already did it, ignore me. I'm just staring at people's paintings and I just, I'm saying a perfect blue, stop, gray, right? So with a clean paintbrush, you can tell them to mix where they're touching. Good job. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna make snow. Who wants to make snow? Me, 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 me. me. Okay, now watch. Right, here's our whoop, painting of snow, right? Where did that dirty blue come from? Because it, it's nighttime, so would it be pure white snow? No, it's shadowy. My dirty paintbrush actually makes these stripes. All you have to do is paint it in a roller coaster, right? Round under her tummy, over and under, over and under, and it will just make 3D. Because every time you go get a glob of white, it's brighter. Where you start to run out of white, it's darker because your paintbrush is showing through. But let's do this first. Let's put this lump of snow and under her tummy with white real quick. Because that looks terrible. Look at mine, it's all ratty on the bottom. I don't like it. Well, I'm gonna put snow right on top of it. So I stab my white. I don't care if it has blue in it. That is my shadow. So I just go, maybe, not a hill. <gasps> that was an accident. Now I have to do it. Should I get mad? No, I'll just try to wipe it with my thumb. <gasps> Okay, so I'm just gonna try to put a little hump right there and by bottom of my sky and under my penguin and then by bottom of my sky. I cut them off. There it is sticking out. What if you have to stop and get more? Get more, just get more. I don't care. And now the snow is in front of the sky because she's in front. That's why we had to do the sky first, right? Now just get some more white, stab the white hard. Why? Because we have far to go. Wait, can you go side to side really fast? No. Can you go up and down and make white grass? No. You ride the roller coaster the whole, do you guys know the word parallel? Parallel means you follow the line. So I stab my white, Woo! look at there's blue in it. That's gonna peek through. But I go, wee, and I give it permission to have those cool stripes and fall off the page. And then get more white, stab, wee. I could go the other way, wee. Oh, dry, more paint, stab, roller coaster. And look at the built-in shadow. More white, stab. Roller coaster down, up, roll. Oh, when I get to the bottom, I guess I have to be straight. Whatever. Wee! And I'm not going to use up all my white because I need it for my star. I still have some left. And then I'm not, just because I could keep scooping and scooping my white, I need it for a few other more places on my painting. So I'm not going to use it all up. I just need some. Look at where I need it. I need it for the star, her beak, and uh, on her wing right there. So I can't use it all up. And then just get more paint, stab, roll or smooth it off the page to off. Should I scribble like this? <laughs> no. I just get some and push like a bulldozer off the page. Get more paint, push and fall off the page. It's smoother than a scribble. And it's smooth snow. Whee, Roy the roller coaster.
You feel good about it? Did you get all the way to the bottom? I worry about the bottom, so I sometimes I lift up my painting and make sure that I painted it. Because the easel stupid gets in the way. Time for waters. Yay! We're actually all done with this paintbrush. Thank you, paintbrush. Hey, who went all the way fast and finished without me? You super fast painter. Okay, look, Anthony. Look, there's one little piece. You can get a, a, that tiny paintbrush and go swipe. That will separate her, uh, the reflection of the snow, separate her wing from her body right there. And then we have to do the star. You want to do the star now, Anthony? We could do the star now. Because he don't need no help, I guess. Excuse me. All right, then. Okay, now we're, we're going to do the star. Who wants to do the star? You done with your, your snow? Okay, so her star is not touching her hand. Or it's a pink snowflake. I'm not sure. If you guys write a story, please write a story about what's happening. I don't know. You have to name the penguin, tell me what that is, and if it has magical powers. I don't know. Okay, so can you find pink? She looks like red, but I call her pink. Right? And then, boop. And this one, we actually do uh, use our uh, finger. You're going to laugh, but it works really good. So if you have fingernails, you have to use this side of your finger, but it will still work, right? And you're trying to curve your finger to get your fingernail out of the way. But I don't have fingernail. So I'm going to put a dot where I want my um, star to be. So I get my my pink, red, and I just touch it. <laughs> like that. Just get a little dot. Because we're going to tell it where the middle is going to be. It's like the middle of the star is three fingers above her hand. Right? It's floating. But don't touch your painting is wet. So float your three fingers and go, oh, 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 I guess. It's just a guess. I guess it's over her hand right there. I guess. But just so it's not touching. Like three fingers is a measurer. And everybody's fingers are different, so it's an ish. I'm not sure. I don't know. Look at Luis. Luis is done for the day. Oh, my God. Stop being so cute. He doesn't have to do it. I'm teasing him. I'm teasing him. You look adorable. What? You can do that. I don't care. Okay. My son's 34, so I still appreciate the cuteness. Okay. So now I'm going to get the, the pink... And now I'm going to go, okay, I got more. And now I'm going to make a star. Are you guys ready? You can only flick away from the center. Watch me. I touch the middle and flick up. I touch the middle and flick down. I cannot scribble. Why? My background is wet and I'll make purple. But I want the ends pointy. Pointy. And if it turns dry, they look like sparklers. Looks so good. Ready? So I got some. And I touch the middle and I flick straight up. Whoop! That was loud. I just yelled. Sorry. I was excited. Okay. Now I can get more pink. Touch. More pink. Right? And now I touch the middle and flick down. Flick. Ooh, I got it on her, on her paw. But on her wing. But um, I'm going to paint over her wings. I don't care. I, was, I did it really hard. And then I get more pink. And I touch the middle and I go to the side. Flick. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Oh, F, flunk. Let me try again. I don't get mad. I just adjust, right? I land on the middle and go, flick. Oh, that was too hard. Whatever. Just go with it. I'm being decorative. 
So nobody's ever seen this star before. How do they know that's not how it is? Okay, so now I get pink. And I'm going to do, oh, the other way? So now it's like a plus, land, push away. Hey, I did those the same length. How did I do that? What? You shut up. Okay, no, you shut up. But I, who got, who got neat sparklers on the end? When I run out of paint on the end, it looks all like, spark I don't know. I love it. Okay, now, oh, you know who's jealous? The corners, you know, they look like loser L's. So let's make it come out of the corner. So I land in the middle and come out the corner. Click, click. Oh, there. I had to do it twice. And you know, oh, oh, guess what? We're going to do all the corners. So I land in the middle and click. And then I land in the middle and click. And I land in the middle and click. <gasps> I did it. Well, that is one color. So is that 3D? No, it is not. It's so boring. So how many colors for 3D? Three, right? Dark pink all by herself. She doesn't get any white, dark. Pink and white mixed together, baby pink. And if I have strings of white, pure white, it's super shiny. You wanna see? I actually had to do this one twice. But there's the dark pink. She didn't get nothing. And then baby pink happens by accident, right? And then pure white where I, I put an extra white. I couldn't get the right brightness. So now we're going to get white and just do it again. Right on top of the pink. But who already saw how to make stripes? And then stop touching it, right? So now I'm going to try to put stripes of white in my pink. Should I scrub it together like this? And try to make baby pink? No. I just touch my white. I get the white. And I land and stripe. Whoops, one more time. Stripe. Oh, look at the stripes I got. You are so jealous of me. I'm trying to get those stripes. It's not pure white. I'm trying to get pink white stripes. What? Now can I do it pointing down? Let me try again. I touch my white. And I flick down. Flick. Oh, all right. All right, I got some dry bottoms too, and I got, they look like sparklers on the end. I like it. And I touch my white again, and I go, I touch the middle, and I go, out. <gasps> oh, that one's even better. I like the dry sparklers on the end. Okay, keep going. You know what to do. Don't wait for me. And I land in the middle, and I go, out. Or again, out. Oh! <gasps> well, that's a plus. Nobody cares. Let me make a star, right? A sparkly star. So I have to do the corners, turn those L's. What? And is it pure pink? No. Is it pure white? No. Are they stripes of each other? For interest and interesting texture to look at? How many people normally would keep playing and playing and playing and playing and it just becomes one color and everybody's like, nobody cares. But then you give permission for more versions of the color and some texture and everybody goes, ooh, Anthony's finished. Anthony did it. Nice job, Anthony. So you, hey Anthony, did you just go to the original picture somewhere and, and copy it? What'd you do? Did you take a screenshot of it? No, we just remember it. What? Alrighty, good job. You don't need me then, I guess. Alright then, you just go then. Fabulous. Okay, now we need our, our lip. We're going to paint our, our, oops, wrong paintbrush. Where's the little flat one? The little square one. I lost my paintbrush. I'm going to cry. Oh, there she is. She's covered in blue paint. Can you find the little square one? And just squeeze out. We're going to use it, her for the black paint. But blue, blacks are more powerful than blue by millions, so it, the, it won't hurt nothing. And now we can do her hat. Who knows, who knows how to outline with a paintbrush? I know you do, because you've done it like 50 million times. So find your black. 
Hey, you know what we should do? We should clean up our space. Mine is cluttered. I'm gonna put the lid, I'm all done with all the blues and purples and grays and all that. I'm gonna put the lids on everything. Get, get out of my way. Everybody's making a cluttery mess. It's like when I cook, I gotta put stuff away as I cook. Okay, get out of here, you stuff. Besides, they'll stay dry, more, wet longer and you can decorate rocks tomorrow or something. So put the lids on them. Get out of here, paint. We still need brown and, and we'll use our yellow and our red. But later, get out of here, you guys. All these colors. Okay. We're going to use black to do his. Oh, let me show you the original. Sorry. I'm still putting lids on mine. I'm doing it with one hand. Okay. Okay. Look what we did. Did the background. Did the snow. Did that. So what do we need? Black hat. Black arm. Right? But the only thing that separates this, her little sleeve from her jacket is a little white string. Right? We'll do that with our teeny tiny paintbrush. It just helps. And we pretend like it's reflection of the snow. But otherwise, I look like she was just fat. So I made a little separation. Then we have the, the red, right? And then because the hat is wet and her shirt is wet, the red pulls on the black and makes black and red stripes, which looks really good. Then with our perfectly clean little paintbrush, in fact, we should do that first so that yellow is drying. That's what we'll do. But we get we paint the little, the little beak yellow and put some white on it so she's a little bit brighter because yellow is really see-through. Let's do that now. Find your teeny tiny itty bitty baby paintbrush and your yellow. Because that way, while we're busy doing other things, the beak is drying. So it's dry when we go to put the black line on. Okay? So find your yellow and your itty bitty clean paintbrush. All right? What color yellow did you guys get? Yours looks brighter than mine. Aw. Whatever. I was trying to remember what I gave you guys. Okay. So I have... Oh, not paint that one. And then... How do I, uh, oh, you can check it with your finger and make sure it's all dry around her beak. Yep, because we do not want blue and yellow making green. Right? Okay, it should be dry because acrylic paint evaporates, right? The water leaves it and evaporates. So I'm going to stab my yellow. She's tiny, so she won't be able to hold very much paint, so don't be scared. Stab! Ooh! Like that a lot. I stabbed it. And then how do we outline? And this is so tiny. Will this tiny paintbrush open? Yes, it will still do it. So I land in her beak and go open and I sneak up and let this one hair do the outlining for me. You wanna see it? I'll do it up close. So here's my yellow paintbrush. She's so tiny and I land in her beak. Now I can see the one hair that's sneaking, sneaking. Oh, she's touching. Rain, but oh, careful, careful. And I can go right over the Sharpie. I did it in Sharpie on purpose because it can't be erased. And then I stab my yellow some more and now I'm gonna do a letter C by pencil. I don't wanna look at you. And I'm using one hair to do it. Remember my paintbrush smashes and it gets big and I look at one hair. Oh, doing it from the bottom. The bottom of the beak is harder. I'm not scared. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be gentle and sneak down very slow. Okay, there I got it. Once I landed, I had it. It was the landing that was scaring me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, who's got a good outline? Because once you have an outline, you don't leave your outline because that's the human brain. So just look at me with the side of my paintbrush. I'm just going to push this yellow around. It's already on there. Just push it around and fill it in. Little, 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 little. There. I didn't need more. It was already on there. I kind of made mine have a really long chin. 
because when I, I was a little bit wild when I stopped. I don't know. Well, that beak is like not 3D. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white. I just need some. But this is a tiny paintbrush, so I get like a little scoop. I'm just gonna, oh, I got some on the end, right? I just got a little scoop, mirror. And I tried to find a clean corner, right? Cause some of it has blue. So I like scratched the edge where I knew it was cleaner, right? Cause we were stabbing our blue paintbrush in there. So I went on the edge, mirror, there. And then what if we put it on the top of her beak and then pushed it down, down. <gasps> Like we did the brown, and so it's brighter on the top of her beak and dark at the bottom of her beak. Okay, what I just said makes no sense. So you wanna pause and watch me? So everybody pause. I'm gonna drop off the white, just get it off my paintbrush. Everybody pause. Are you watching? Cause I only have one beak. Smoosh. Okay, it's, there it is. Now I'm not using the tip, how come? She is too sharp. So I'm using the side of the paintbrush and I'm just gonna push. Pull. Oh, do I? I don't even need to go near. Oh, it's. Oh, I just gave it a little shimmer shine. It just got a little bit brighter. I just a little bit. So it's a softer yellow. And look at how it's dark yellow where I didn't give it any white. Totally fine. Just like the star. And then you can lick off your paintbrush. No, you sicko weirdo. Stop eating the paint. And then I get a paper towel. I just give it a pit. I just, I don't, I'm going to use black now. And I don't want, I don't want yellow on it. Just give it a pinch. And then when I do that, when I pinch it, did you, I never scrubbed my paintbrush on a paper towel. All her hairs would stick out. When I clean out a paintbrush, I always give it a pinch. She stays smooth and little. Smooth and little. So now find your black. I'm just going to jump ahead and go ahead and do the eyeball and the eyebrow. Just because. Just because. Because we're right here. So we might as well. And she'll be adorable and she'll be looking at it. Okay. So how do we, how do we outline with black? With, or with a paintbrush. We smash our paintbrush and it goes boop. Right? So if I, everybody pause and look up. Don't paint. So I'm going to land in her eye very hard. We're going to ruin it. Right? So we land the paintbrush with the black in her eye and go smash. And because you're human, you cannot make a circle. You'll go like this. Whoop, I ruined it. Let me go bigger. Whoop, I ruined it. Let me go bigger. Whoop, and it just keeps getting bigger. So, you know what we can make really good? Rainbows and smiles. So I'm going to get some black. And I, I just get a poke. Poke of black. Poke. Right? She can't hold very much paint, so it doesn't matter how. But everybody pause and look up, right? Because I can only show you this one. Does everybody have your eyeballs on me? Laredo and Israel and just Josiah and, and Marley. Okay, so watch me. I'm going to, I'm gonna, I, and I can land in her middle of her eye. Smash. And then I go rainbow. Smile. Did I make a circle? No, I did not. I landed in the middle. And I pushed it up and made a rainbow and pushed it down and made a smile. That's how I stayed in the line. My paintbrush is black and it stayed inside her black eye the whole time and went rainbow, smile. Somebody's tired. Okay, and then who who did it? What? You just did it? I know. Now watch this. With just the paint that's left on your paintbrush, don't get more because some of it we just let some of it come off by doing the eye. Now we do that eyebrow, and she's just a a, a dash, like a phone number dash. That's all. I just touch it one time, and I am done with my paintbrush. You just make me so mad. No, I'm just kidding. Let me see it. <gasps> oh, you went, oh, it's so adorable. So nice. Love. What? You guys are going too fast for me. Either that or I'm going too slow. Okay, now we're going to paint, outline everything in black and then paint it in. You guys ready? 
How easy was it to outline when we did the tummy and the it was so easy. So now I get my black. I'm just gonna out oh not the scarf. Oh yeah, this is okay. Who's already finished? There's a trick. You get this little tiny paintbrush and get white on it and go like this. And and you get a blob of white and push it up like that and separate them. Okay? Otherwise, it just looks like she's a fat tummy. Okay, anyway, now I'm going to get my black, and I'm going to start outlining stuff. Because once you outline, how easy is it? Right? So it's going, all right, I got my black. Oh my gosh, so scary to do the head. That's why I'm going to get it out of the way. But it, isn't it just a letter C? Yeah. So I land in her hat. How come? Because I'm going to sneak up to the edge. Smash. Now I'm sneaking. Sneak. Sneak. Sneak, push my paint. Oh, and then it got dry. Look, it got dry. I'm so sad. I'm not sad. I just get more paint and land and push letter C. Did I pick up my paintbrush and wiggle? No. Pushing my paintbrush makes a smooth edge. Scribbling makes a furry hat. Does that make sense? Now I'm going to do the front, and it's also a letter. Oh, look at how I can hold. I was going to tell you this. Everybody pause and look up. I have to get in this little triangle right here. I'm going to hold my paintbrush totally flat and skinny and, and try oh, and make all oh, there. I used the, the little laser edge to do that. There. Now I can make my letter C. And I am touching her face a little bit. So the shadow makes sense. If I touch her face, let her see. Oh, I ran out of paint. I don't care. I'm kidding. Hat. And then I could do her other hand. Her other wing. Sorry, penguins don't have hands. Oh, not folding my paintbrush right. I'm going to try again. Poke. Did you do it? No. I hear a voice. Who's getting really straight lines right now? Who's impressed with your skills right now? How did you learn how to do that? We did it all these other times and your brain learned it by doing it. Because you have a human brain. And what do and human brains can only learn by doing. If you wanted to already, you should have been born a bee. Do bees learn? No. They come right out as a, as a bee and already know how to do everything. Bees don't go to school. Mm -hmm. Push my paint. Look how quiet we all are. How's your brain? Is your brain calm and relaxed right now? Isn't that nice? Nice. Okay, who's already done? I bet you already left. But I just want to show everyone this. Everybody pause and look up. Pause. So right here, I outlined her, her jacket and her little sleeve, right? So I'm going to poke some white paint. Everybody watch me do it, even if you're busy. Look at me. Stop. Stop painting. Neymar. Okay, now I get the white paint and I just push it uphill. There. Now I'll be able to tell the difference between the jacket and the sleeve. Does that make sense? You don't have to do it now. You do it at the end. But some people were leaving and I got worried they wouldn't see that. Okay. I'm all outlined. What do I do now? Fill it in. And because I outlined it, how safe am I? So safe. Push, pull. And whenever I get near an edge, I just slow down. If I worry, 
I know I have the ability to land perfectly. My brain has a hard time stopping, right? So if I'm coming down, 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 like, whoa, I'm going fast, slow down, and then my brain will go, er, breaks. Cuteness. Cuteness, right? And then, ooh, this sleeve. Oh, are you using the tip of your paintbrush or are you using the flat part of your paintbrush? Who's automatically adjusted? Are you, or do you feel like you're peanut buttering it on or using the tip and scratching it on? Aren't, isn't that weird? You already learned how to do that. You are using the flat side of the paintbrush. What? How did you learn how to do that? I don't know. By doing. If I talked about it all day, it wouldn't help you. Because on earth we learn by doing. Smear, smear, push, 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 right? I push and pull my paint, push, push, smear, smush, smush. Uh-oh, I'm gonna end up touching that white thing I put. How come it's fast and easy for me? Be quiet, I already done this before. That's why. I'm not super fast like I'm a genius. It's cause my brain's like, don't have to think about it. I already learned how. Yikes. We have dogs. In case you can't hear, they fought. There. You see that little white piece? She helps me tell the difference. It's just a little string. Now you do it. Oh, let me fix her hat. I have a mistake. Hey, now that I'm finished, I have little scrape marks that aren't black where my paintbrush must have scratched off the paint. Let me put, fill those in. Softer. Oh, there's another one. I was too hard. Oh. When I'm not in the light and I hold it like this, I can see my, my scratch marks easier. That's, I'll put a second layer of black on mine. Look, I can see it, but but, but the light is too shiny. I'm gonna I'm hold mine like this so the, so the, 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 the light isn't, oh, oh, that's smoother. I fix them. I don't want any of those little marks. Oh, look how soft, I, the softness fills it in. Okay, there. That's better. And then we're going to put the red scarf on there, you know? And then because the hat and the jacket is both wet, you pick up red, I mean, pick up the black accidentally. And it just makes shadows in the red makes it 3d but you know why we like the red let me show you our color wheel where are we on our color wheel we are using this whole bottom part of our color wheel and then we jump across and use a little yellow as a highlight but we are right here whoop whoa where, where these are the colors we're using so once you use red you use a it's called a scale Use a full half circle, half circle from a rec, from a square to a square. Your brain gets very excited. So if it wasn't there, your brain would be like, whatever. It's kind of monochrome. When you do a hole, or you do this from the orange to the green. I'm sure you've seen uh, dresses in this spectrum, right? Or they go like this from the blue to the yellow. Okay, so that's why once you put the red on, your brain goes. Okay, so we clean the paint. Oh, there's a lot of black in my paintbrush. So I just give it a pinch and get the red. And is it bad to have black in it? No, built-in shadow. So if you, by touching the hat 
or the jacket, you pick up a little black, shadow. Dirty paintbrush, shadow. So I get the red and I just want to make nice, you know, outline edges. And we already know how to do that. So it's nice and straight in the front. Look at me pick up black already. And, oh, it's very wet. I'm gonna go ahead and look at all these little accidents I had. Everybody pause. Look at inside my scarf. Here's my chance to fix all that. And then there's her shoulder. I'm gonna go right on top of that so my scarf is nice and straight. I don't care. I'm fixing stuff right now. Oh, it's touching her jacket. I don't care because it makes me pick up black. Shadow. And then I like just going like this, stripe, stripe, because I've seen lots of scarves that have that striping in it, right? So I just go way downhill, get more red, way. And then here's the black from inside my paintbrush peeking through. It's like a miracle. How does it do it? I don't know. It did it to our snow. The dirty paintbrush is what gave us the shadow. Oh, look at mine. Look at the stripes I got from my dirty paintbrush. Right? It's it's already in my paintbrush. Coolio. And then I'm doing this for smoothness. Oh, the last thing we have to is her mouth. And I want to show you how to do it. Tainsy tiny tainsy tiny. I don't want you to all of a sudden make the mouth all huge and wet. <laughs> Who's working on their scarf or your, um, I know, uh, Nadia, you need to do her other hand. Do you see it? Okay, but I want to show you this first. Everybody pause. Everybody pause and look up. I'm going to clean my itty bitty teeny tiny paintbrush and I want to show you how to do the tiniest, gentlest, itty bittiest little line for her mouth. So how much black do you think I need for her mouth? Speck. And should I push hard and make my paintbrush open? No. So everybody watch me. Everybody watch. How careful do I have to be? And I can't touch my painting because it's wet. So I have to float my hand. I'm going to balance it with my pinky. But I just go, I touch and I put up, I just push forward, ride the roller coaster forward and don't scribble. Every time you pick up your paintbrush, your line will get bigger, 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 big. So I just go land and ride the roller coaster. Stop. I even think that's too big because I think I pushed hard. But oh well, I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter how long, how many times you do something, you know, your earth is a crazy place. Who feels good about theirs? Who thought this came out better than they thought it would? Remember, remember when you saw this and you were like, oh yeah, right lady. Yeah, right. There's no way we're doing that. And then now that you're done, you're like, mm -hmm. it's all right. Right. And, and, and uh, is this the best painting that you've made? Right. So can you imagine if we did the same painting tomorrow, would you be better? Would you be better at pushing and pulling? Would you be better at outlining? <gasps> Look at destiny. Oh, it's so nighttime. You have to, oh, she's definitely out there in the night. And, the, and then not, Nadia, her, her, her wing got done. I see it. It looks like, it looks like the front of a story, you know, like a book. The title would go here and the author would go down here. You guys made the cover. Oh, you, you, it looks like a, a greeting card. Looks so, oh, 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 nice. That's Luis's 
Luis, did you did did you think it came out good? Yeah. Do you like yours? I like it too. And Jamie, how's yours? And Namir, yeah. Neymar, Neymar. That's me. Oh, look at yours. You put red in yours. You put yours is unique than everybody's. And I was all worried. Don't use the red. And then you did, and it looks good. What did I know? Oh yeah, a picture. Let me see Elizabeth. Did you hold yours up, Elizabeth? I didn't see it. There it is. It's adorable. Oh, and then let me put my my um my laptop was covering up some people's. And Miss Morales and Emily, I can't see yours, Emily. Hold yours up to the like. Oh, there it is. I oh. look how smooth everyone's lines are too. Like smooth. Oh, Roberto. Roberto. Look at that. And there's Elizabeth's. Nice job. Good job, you guys.